What are the best bodyweight bicep exercises? That's what this series is all about. To teach you the 9 most effective bodyweight bicep exercises. Coming up. Hey, it's Oscar Funko Primate here, and in part 9 of this series, we're gonna go through supinated back levers. Supinated back levers deserve a spot on the list because they are a straight arm exercise, and that is one contributing factor to why gymnasts have such developed biceps because they do a lot of straight arm work. And if you want a reference here, then there's a Team Ferris podcast episode where the US gymnast coach Christopher Sommers mentions that the main reason why gymnasts have such developed biceps is because of all the straight arm work they do on rings. Now of course the gymnasts do a lot of very extreme movements such as iron crosses and Maltesis and all the really demanding exercises, but a supinated back lever is something that's fairly doable for a lot of people and it's very realistic and it's not that strength demanding like some of the other exercises are and therefore they allow us you know normal people some piece of the action when it comes to straight arm work and the bicep development that you can get from doing that type of training one word of caution before we get into it is that back levers especially stooping at the back levers do put a lot of stress on your bicep tendon and the connective tissue in your elbows. So even if your muscles might be strong enough to hold that position, then your connective tissues might not be. And therefore, the risk versus reward ratio here is not the best. So be very, very careful with this one. And I will definitely not recommend this for a beginner. Instead, you want to take it very, very easily. You say very, very easy progression and play it very, very safe. It might sound boring, but again, the risk versus reward here is not the most favorable here. So if you snap something, that's going to really suck for you. So just putting that out there, that not for beginners. So basically all we want here is actually to get that training stimulus of doing something with our arms straight. Therefore, just choose a progression that suits you the best. I am by no means no back lever expert here, but the main thing I want to think about here is to simply protract your shoulders and keep your arms straight. So same as when you do a push-up, you're really pushing the shoulders forward. That the same thing here, you're pushing the shoulders forward at all times. And there are basically two main ways that you can adjust the difficulty here. The first one is by tucking your knees in. So the more tucked in your knees are, the easier it's going to be. And the more straight your body is, the harder it's going to be. Now the other way you can adjust the difficulty is by being in a more vertical or horizontal position. So the more vertical you are, so upright, the easier it will be, and the more horizontal you get, the harder it will be. So use these two things to adjust the difficulty. And again, like I said, play it very, very safe. So definitely they start off with the knees very tucked in and start in a very vertical position and just ease into back levers this way because again, you wanna let those connective tissues adapt because it takes way longer for them to adapt than it takes for your muscles to adapt. And when it comes to hypertrophy, so building muscle mass, you won't get any style points. So just choose a progression that allows you to feel that tension in your biceps. So as you can see here, I'm by no means no back lever expert. My back lever is not even close to straight here, but I'm feeling a lot of tension in my biceps. And that's all we're going for here. We just want that straight arm training stimulus on our biceps. And if you can already get that from a tuck position, then that's all good. You work on that because your body and your muscles have no idea what kind of progression you're using. They only respond to the tension that they're provided. And if you can get a really good enough tension with a, you know, lame progression, then that's how we want. That's good enough. Unless you're actually going for some kind of back lever competition where you need to impress people or get points, then that's a different topic. But if you're just a normal dude who wants to sort of be, develop a nice physique and some strength as well, then in that case, all we want to have is that appropriate amount of tension and play it very safe and just kind of get the feeling of some straight arm work. I will say that the supinated grip will hit the bicep way more than the pronated grip will, but the risk is also here that the supinated grip will put also more stress on the bicep tendon and the connective tissues. So keep that in mind. I wanted the really fascinating reasons why this type of training does target the biceps is because the biceps are actually also involved in shoulder flexion. And that's what you do. You have a static shoulder flexion movement there. And they're also fighting to kind of keep your arm in, in one piece, right? Because if you would have the bicep, your arm would probably snap that away. But the bicep is fighting against that. And also 
doing the shoulder flexion at the same time. Something else that can come into play here is that an isometric hold at the very weakest position of the muscle is going to be recruiting a large amount of muscle fibers. So that's what we're doing here. This is when your arm is straight, it's going to be the weakest position for the biceps. So that is my understanding of this. And I could be wrong. So please feel free to correct me on this one. But that is my latest knowledge on why this type of training actually does develop the biceps. For us average people, uh, I would say that this shouldn't be the main way to train biceps. This should be a smaller amount of it. So if you want a big biceps, I would definitely go first for a lot of elbow flexion movements, but a small proportion I would also have in this straight arm work. Another cool thing with back levers is that it's also a skill. At the same time, you can develop a physique, which makes it even more exciting. So you can get those hypertrophy gains. And at the same time, you're working on a skill that is actually pretty cool to do because you kind of feel like a gymnast when you do it, especially on rings, right? So when it comes to the actual repetitions, uh, I would recommend easier progressions with longer holds around 15 to 45 second holds play around within that range 15 to 45 seconds around that and i think you should be pretty good to go now if you want a more detailed breakdown of the rest of the nine body weight bicep exercises then feel free to continue on with the series that was it for the stupid and the back levers i hope you found this helpful and if you've got some value out of this then please go ahead and leave this video a like it's highly appreciated and subscribe to the channel for more tips on how to optimize your body weight ring and at-home fitness training Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye bye.